Hello Sagittarius, this is your June 2018 reading. I'm sorry I'm so late. I had to go to the emergency room not too long ago over a hypertension issue. I'm fine now, but I wanted to get this out and I apologize and I um, thank you for being patient. Um, but this is for June Sagittarius 2018. Remember, it may not clarify or may not resonate with all Sagittarius people. But this is for Sagittarius, June 2018. Sagittarius for the masses of Sagittarius, June 2018. If you have the first couple days that are good in June, at least the first day is June 1st. I hate being that late. I really do try to get out. I don't think I'm going to be taking personal readings this month. I need to get recuperate, plus i got other projects going. We got the Emperor in reverse, Sagittarius. This could be your energy or another a fire sign. It could be Aries, could be Leo's, but someone's feeling turned around. At least in the beginning of June. Could be over a communication issue. Um, messages coming back and forth, and someone is unable to move on from troubled waters, possibly. Cat's been jumping up here, kind of scratched us all up a little bit. I had to rearrange it. Okay, so find out. We got the communication cards in reverse, and what's crossing it is the Six of Swords. So why is that there for Sagittarius, June 2018? Communication, someone's not moving on. It's like communication going back fast and forth, you know, very fast, back and forth. Someone's not moving on from a situation, maybe a past situation. Someone's bringing it back up. Maybe because someone had a lot of options or they were confused about their options. Got the Queen of Discs as the goal. Queen of Discs is in reverse. Maybe your goal is to reverse it or your energy is going towards them. Or it could be the opposite party's goal. Maybe it's, you know, some kind of cross watcher. But the goal is the Queen of Discs. It's in reverse, so let's find out why the Queen of Discs is in reverse for Sagittarius. Queen, Queen of Discs, why are you there? Yeah, you're thinking about something with this Queen of Discs. Maybe you're trying to figure out what to do with it, why she's turned around, why this uh, situation is the way it is, and you're thinking about it. How can I work this out? You know, it's 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 a it, this is a person that's pondering. This is the Seven of Pentacles. When they're pondering like this, it's like they got something before them. It's kind of hard to deal with, and they're trying to figure out what to do with it. The foundation. This could be over another person, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Swords can be an air sign, as you know. It could be a, a, a Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. They're the foundation and the upright, so they do make wise decisions. Okay, they're the ones that, uh, you know, they may seem like they're very distant and keep you at arm's length. But they, this one, uh, when they're in the upright, they may make good decisions usually. They're usually, you know, pretty intelligent, I should say. Not, not necessarily decisions, but very intelligent. So the Queen of Swords, why are you at the foundation? Balance, this person is very balanced. In the past, you had a tower situation. Something came crumbling down. Something that left you changed. So why is the tower card in the past for Sagittarius for June? Or not for June, it's in the past. Why is the tower card in the past for, for Sagittarius? Could be from an old party, a third party situation. So yeah, I'm thinking things got bought up again. Someone had a third-party situation in the past. It may have been an old thing, and someone rebought it, bought it back up, thinking that they had options still. Maybe someone's thinking someone is still doing this, and it may not be. But the communication is going back and forth. Now, in the near future, you got that uh, air element again. When I see that, the Knight of Swords to me, it's usually a Gemini, but because I'm reading for the masses, it could be any air sign or someone with a lot of air in their chart. And they're in the upright, so you will be dealing with this Knight of Swords, and they're usually really good with business, the Knight of Swords. They, they get the business done. They're very, very uh, competent in their work situation. 
and anything else around them. They like things orderly. Why is the Knight of Swords in the near future for Sagittarius? Could be that um, you're not wanting to start this new beginning or they're not wanting to start a new beginning right away. They're in the upright. They're well balanced. I'm thinking this may be the same air element. What's coming up? Uh, uh, this is the advice card. Possible future outcome is coming out of sorrow or disappointment. I call it the sorrow card, too, just like the Three of Swords. It, but it's more emotional. And someone's coming out of that sorrow situation, possibly, or the vice is to come out of it. Come out of this negativity. That's what it's saying. For either you or for what, whoever that is involved with you is the Five of Cups. It's in reverse, so it's telling you to come out. And the outcome is you could actually come out of this feeling disappointed. Five of Cups, why are you there for Sagittarius? Oops. Coming out of feeling trapped. Coming out of feeling uh, disappointed. What's coming to you is an ending of a situation, a completion, and a new beginning. It also could be what people are thinking towards you. They want a new beginning. They want to end something but start something new. Complete something and go on to something better. Universe, why are you there coming towards Sagittarius as the outside environment? Or the outside environment, I should say. The universe, why are you there? It's also known as the world card. Why are you there? Communications again. So someone may be communicating with you. So it looks like you may be moving on from troubled waters, even though it's crossing here. I see you coming out of disappointment, out of feeling trapped. Your your hopes and fears is the Six of Cups. And I'm thinking it's your fear is someone from the past. Let's turn around. Maybe you don't want them coming back. You want them to stay there. Whether it's for you or your partner. Six of Cups. Yeah, you wouldn't you wouldn't have you don't want that uh six of cups something from the past and you wouldn't happiness. Yeah, seven of uh, pentacles. It's in reverse. Now I gotta find out. I gotta have another card with that before I can tell you if it's negative or positive, because it is in reverse. Seven of pentacles. Why are you there in reverse for for uh, Sagittarius? The Empress. In reverse, one more card. Making a decision. I'm thinking you're coming out of failure because you got the Empress. She's in reverse. That means you know it's not moving. It's not growing forward. It's not growing. It's it's not a growth. It's not a blessing. But. You got the two of uh, wands, so someone's going to make a decision to come out of uh, the seven of pentacles, but someone may not think it's moving fast enough or the blessing they want or exactly what they want. It's going to take time, in other words. But I do see you, and this is a, a energy that's showing someone coming out of it, I don't think, too quickly. They're coming out of feeling trapped, disappointed. They got people around them that are that are doing well. But they want something to stay in the past also. And this could be over a third-party situation. Someone's wanting someone to stay and the other person to go. And there's a decision with the two of wands right here needing to be made coming out of a failed situation. And you may get a page of cups as the overall energy. That could be someone offering you their cup. A cup of emotions, love, friendship. Could be any of those, but the overall energy is someone's want to offer kindness and friendship and love. So take that into consideration. And that is your reading, Sagittarius. And I hope to get back in another couple weeks, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.